Prince Harry had final task before Meghan Markle reunion following Sandringham summit. Prince Harry had to do one thing before calling Meghan Markle after discussing his exit from the royal family with the Queen, it has been revealed. The Duke met with the Queen, Prince Charles and Prince William in what has been branded the Sandringham summit. The senior royals came together at Her Majesty's Norfolk home to discuss the logistics of the Sussex's new lives. According to royal experts, the Queen said Prince Harry's semi-royal idea was not going to work out. Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, did not attend the meeting at Sandringham with Prince Harry but instead returned to Canada. The days following the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's royal departure announcement, Prince Harry was called to talk with his family. The Duke met with the Queen, Prince Charles and Prince William in what has been branded the Sandringham Summit. The senior royals came together at Her Majesty's Norfolk home to discuss the logistics of the Sussex's new lives. According to royal experts, the Queen said Prince Harry's semi-royal idea was not going to work out. A source told royal biographers Omid Scobie and Carolyn Durand, it was untenable. If Harry and Meghan had been semi-working royals, there would have had to have been oversight in everything they did in their independent sphere, a committee to approve events and deals. The source also said the Sussexes were not allowed to use the word royal in their future branding. This meant the closure of their Sussex royal social media accounts. The Sussexes were reportedly disappointed by the final rulings on their royal family exit. Prince Harry had to do an important task though before he broke the news to his wife on how the meeting went. The Duke briefed his staff on what was happening before talking to the Duchess. In their book Finding Freedom, Mr. Scobie and Dems Durand wrote, when the meeting was over, Harry immediately debriefed Sussex aides before sending a text message to Meghan. The Queen released a statement that evening after the meeting at Sandringham. Her comments marked the first change as Her Majesty addressed the Sussexes using their first names rather than their official titles. This was seen as a break from traditional palace protocols for royal statements. The Queen said, Today my family had very constructive discussions on the future of my grandson and his family. My family and I are entirely supportive of Harry and Meghan's desire to create a new life as a young family. Although we would have preferred them to remain full-time working members of the royal family, we respect and understand their wish to live a more independent life as a family while remaining a valued part of my family. Harry and Meghan have made clear that they do not want to be reliant on public funds in their new lives. It has therefore been agreed that there will be a period of transition in which the Sussexes will spend time in Canada and the UK. These are complex matters for my family to resolve, and there is some more work to be done, but I have asked for final decisions to be reached in the coming days. Last month, the Sussexes fully paid back the pounds 2.4 million of taxpayers' money used to renovate their UK base, Frogmore Cottage. The announcement came after the couple signed a multi-year production deal with the online streaming giant Netflix. A spokesperson for the Sussexes said, a contribution has been made to the sovereign grant by the Duke of Sussex. This contribution as originally offered by Prince Harry has fully covered the necessary renovation costs of Frogmore Cottage, a property of Her Majesty the Queen, and will remain the UK residence of the Duke and his family. Music